friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this colorful and beautiful pattern which can be used as a coaster as a pot holder and as a mini doily it is very easy to make and the methods that i have applied in this pattern is double crochet chains treble crochet and slip stitch so we are going to begin now things that we require for the project are yarn of 5 colors the choice of colors depend on you a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn and a pair of scissors to use as and when required i am going to use a hook of 9 mm so let's get started at first we have to pick up the tail of the yarn of color a make a loop insert the hook in pull through to make a slip knot now wrap the yarn on your hook pull through pull through pull through and pull through these are four chain now we have to go back to the first chain insert the hook in pull through there are two loops on the hook pull through both the loops this is slip stitch now foundation ring is ready we have to make chain 1 2 Three, which counts as a double crochet. Now wrap the yarn on your hook. Insert the hook into the ring. Pull through. There are three loops on the hook. Pull through two. Pull through two. This is double crochet. This is third double crochet. Again, we have to make double crochet. These are four double crochet. We have to make twelve. So now five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. When these 12 double crochet into the ring are complete we have to join the stitches into the fourth second third chain of the fourth stitch with a slip stitch Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color B to the pattern Add color B take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with a slip stitch. Now we have to make chain 1 2 3. Now wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch, pull through. There are four loops on the hook. Pull through two. Pull through two. Hold two loops on the hook. Now wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through. Pull through two. Pull through two. Now there are three loops on the hook. Pull through all the three. This is treble crochet. Now chain one, two. For chain space, wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. Hold two loops on the hook. Now wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Hold three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn twice on your hook again. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now there are four loops on the hook. Pull through all the four. Second petal is ready. Chain one, two for chain space. Again, wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Hold two loops on the hook. Pull through two, pull through two. Hold three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn twice on your hook. Insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two. Now there are four loops on the hook. Pull through all the four. 
loops to make the next petal now chain one two so these are three petals that we have made with treble crochet we have to make 12 petals across the round on the top of each double crochet so complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed when these 12 petals on the top of each stitch are complete we have to make chain 1 2 and now we have to join the stitches on the top of the first petal with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add the yarn of color C to the pattern to add the yarn of next color take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook in pull through to make a slip knot now into the chain space of two we have to insert the hook in pull through there are two loops on the hook pull through two now we have joined the yarn with slip stitch now we have to make chain one two wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same chain space of two pull through pull through two pull through two chain two for chain space now wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same stitch pull through pull through two now hold two loops on the hook wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same chain space of two pull through there are four loops on the hook pull through two now there are three loops pull through all the three chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two insert the hook in pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook insert the hook in pull through pull through two now there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three chain two for chain space now wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same chain space pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook insert the hook into the same chain space of two pull through pull through two there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three so we have made two petals into the chain space of two and there is chain space of two in between two petals chain two for chain space again into the next chain space of two wrap the yarn insert the hook in pull through there are three loops on the hook pull through two now hold two loops on the hook again wrap the yarn pull through pull through two there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three four petal is complete chain two for chain space again double crochet one do not close it double crochet two now there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two insert the hook in pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same chain space pull through pull through two now there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three chain two for chain space wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the same chain space pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook pull through pull through two now there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three chain two so complete the round by making two petals into each chain space of two and as you see there is a chain space of two in between each petal so complete the round following the same pattern the round is complete we have to make chain one two and now we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color D to the pattern add color D take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook in pull through to make a slip knot now we have to join the yarn into the chain space of two with a slip stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet and into the same chain space of two we have to make one more double crochet chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one double crochet two chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two in between two petals we have to make two double crochet chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two make double crochet one 
double crochet two so in this round we have to make two double crochet into each chain space of two to complete the round so complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed when the round is complete we have to make chain one two and now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with a slip stitch now this round is complete we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add next color to the pattern add next color take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now join the yarn into the chain space of two with a slip stitch now chain one two three which counts as a double crochet wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the stitch and pull through pull through two pull through two to make a double crochet wrap the yarn insert the hook into the slip stitch pull through pull through two pull through two now we have to join the stitches into the next chain space of two with a slip stitch this is going to be the edging for the pattern now chain one two three which counts as a double crochet insert the hook into the slip stitch pull through pull through two pull through two again make one more double crochet into the same stitch and now join the stitches into the next chain space of two with a slip stitch chain one two three again insert the hook into the slip stitch pull through to make a double crochet one more double crochet into the same stitch now join the stitches into the next chain space of two with a slip stitch chain one two three again insert the hook into the slip stitch pull through pull through two pull through two again insert the hook into the same slip stitch pull through pull through two now these are three double crochet join the stitches into the next chain space of two with a slip stitch so make this edging and we'll meet again when this round would be completed the round would be completed this nice coaster or the pot holder would be complete you can change the sequence of the colors to make the pot holder or the coasters look more vibrant these are the color options in which i have made these coasters you can make changes in the sequence of the color according to your choice this can be a very good gifting option as well thank you so much